Hello, fellow Bia fans. I'm very, very sorry. I was on air. This is Emeka Livingstone. But um, I had a very, very important call. And uh, there was no way I could, you know, ignore the call to come back later. It was, I was alive discussing things and uh, um, I was called by somebody. Uh, maybe in future I will tell you about him. So, I explained to you that Prince went with me to that place. Prince had a program with me in Maryland and in D.C. And then, part of his program was to call, so come and see what was going on in 7200 Bel Air Road. So when we, have, when we had finished all our programs in Maryland and Washington, D.C., on his way back to North Carolina, we drove into 7200 Bel Air Road, into the facility, for him to see for himself. Because he has said a lot about it, and he lives in America. So we went there, and then uh, the prince asked me to do a video recording of what he's about to say and do that he was going to pull that flag out that the reason why he wants to pull it out is because they're using this flag to do evil against the Biafras and to ridicule the whole nation and if some people are, were angry that uh, Prince uh, offended Biafras by removing that, that flag or whatever now, I first said in my earlier broadcast before I was called that interrupted the, the, the conversation or the discussion I'm having with you or the monologue or the discourse, whatever you choose to call it. Um, the person who actually had desecrated the Biafran flag two times is Simon Epa. And the first one was when the Kremad visited Germany and the Biafrans stood against him. Simon was still in the other side then. He became very angry took the Biafran flag, tore it to shreds, stepped on it, on the floor, matched it. That was a desecration of the Biafran flag. But when he came to his senses, he joined IPOB, autopilot, came into existence, and he was there. Now, and as we move him, we trusted God for him, because all of us saw in him then, a singular commitment to the Biafran cause. That time he was not even talking about himself. Everything his focus was in the camera and the Biafran people. He was very, very focused. And you can understand there was no pride in him, no arrogance. He was always available. He wanted to reach out to as many Biafrans as possible, you know, to make them understand. That was when DOS started accusing him. And when he started accusing them back with facts and figures, we backed him up. So, but along the line, he began to deviate. And somebody once asked me, what did you do? Couldn't you have noticed this before now, before he started talking against people? I said, I did, but I had, I wanted enough evidence. There was no need for me standing here because people can have minor faults. So you will not use because of the little, little minor faults here and begin to write him off. No. Indeed, I could have his thoughts. But the point is, when he did what he did, then we realized that um, he was going entirely out of the lane that Biafra was supposed to follow into their freedom. And that is why you see all these delays we are seeing now. And unfortunately, a lot of his followers have already programmed their mind that Nambekano is out of the scene, that he is the effective person they are following. So even if Nambekano dies there, they don't care. What they want is Biafra and he is there. The Vietnam the Kano will not die there. God will keep him. He will come out because, like I told you, as we are talking, Nam the Kano is coming out. Therefore, there is no replacement for Nam the Kano. As long as Nam the Kano is alive, in good health and kicking, there is no replacement for Nam the Kano. That's a fact. No replacement by any ambitious and selfish person. And so that was when he desecrated the Biafran flag. The second time he desecrated the Biafran flag was not physical, but this time by the actions, his words, using the flag as a front to launder his image and works, which had gone contrary to the spirit of Biafra. And so that one was when he said that 
they have acquired a building. That was what led Prince into his action. Because he heard Simon say, we have acquired, this is the facility we have acquired for Biafran Republic Government in Exile headquarters. And he said, the flag will be here. He pointed it. The coat of arms will be there. The impression was that they have acquired the whole house. And the picture came out openly. Now, I told you that when we went to Oxon Hill, they did not say Oxon Hill is the Biafran house. I mean the house there in Oxon Hill. No. Biafran house is just a suit in that building. And if you go into the building, you see it. If you enter the elevator, the first, the, 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 the next one is the second floor. As you come out of the elevator, take a left turn, you see it. It's the suit. They didn't hide it. They didn't try to give the impression that I've acquired a mighty building. So, you know how Simon does his things. In a bid to impress people who are gullible and don't want to reason, he told them we've acquired a building. And you are in America, which if the owner of that building understands that that is the impression you have given, he can take you to court. I'm telling you the truth. Somebody here can take Simon to court by, if I have that video presentation and present it to the court of law, that this is what he said. I mean, it's wrong acquisition of somebody's property. What he acquired was she too. First, first instance. Now, but he gave the impression is the whole building. And that was what he said with his mouth. And that was the picture he presented to the whole world. Now, when we went there, I got in touch with the man that is in charge of that building directly. I have his card. He gave me his complimentary card. His name is Chris. And I told him, I said, I am a Biafran. The Prime Minister of Biafra has acquired your building for the Biafran people. He said, what? I said, yes. He said, no, nobody has acquired your building, my building. It's not true. I never had any business with that person. I said, okay, okay. It is true. That's what I told him. He said, she too. I said, yes. He said, no organization Listen to me now. Listen to me now. Because it is there in the internet when Simon Epa made that comment. I said it is should do that we acquired. He said no organization did any business with him in respect to that house. That's what he told me. I said, are you serious? He said, yes. He said the should do I'm talking about is presently being occupied by somebody. I said, really? He said, yes. He said, he said, go there and knock. That the man lives there. He did not say that the man's office is there. Just office. No. The man may still have used that place as an office. But he said, the man in question lives there. That I should go and knock. I told him, are you permitting me to go and knock on the door? He said, yes, I should go ahead and knock on the door. That the owner of that suit lives there. Then I asked him a question. Because I wanted to be sure. Because I was considering that we have a, a, a Biafran that works with Simon. I understand his name is Oge. That lives in Maryland. So I was beginning to think. Possibly Oge may have been the person that acquired that property. And then gave it to Biafra, Which is possible. So I asked him. Is it a black man that is living there? He said no. It's not a black man. I said really? He said yes. Then he said, okay, uh, I should go at Checho. I went and knocked on the door. There was nobody. No response. And I told him I'm at the door knocking and there's no response. He said, probably the man must have gone to work. And that was it. So I left. Now, before I left, I asked him a question. I want to hear from you again, sir. Are you saying that this building has not been acquired by any organization? He said, which of I said, Biafra, that our, our prime minister acquired it. He said, nothing like that. I said, okay, what about you do for, 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 for records? Tell me again. We acquired it. He said, you people never acquired anything. That the person that acquires you to leaves there, go and check. And when I checked, he told me that the man uh, does, uh, I think, either mechanic or bodybuilding works along the street. He works in one of the companies. Uh, um, 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 workshops, either they do mechanic work or body, I can't remember, or bodybuilding work for vehicles. He said he lives 
He walks around that area. I said, really? He said, yes. So the next time when I had a conversation with him, I told him that we have written to the United Nations giving Sutu as our address. He laughed. That time I met him one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. I went there, he saw me. He was just driving in. So I said, I came to check on something. He said, he's here for a meeting too. So he told me, by the way, I'm Chris. I said, oh, Chris. He said, I said, oh, I met you were the one I spoke with the other time. He said, yes, yes. I said, oh, yeah. I just came to, uh, you know, confirm. He said, yes, they were going to have a meeting. He even told me that the landlord of that building lives there. I'm in America. If I'm lying against him, he can take me to court. And if he takes me to court, I will go to jail. Do you understand me? He said it. And there's one thing with America. Every conversation I have with Chris is recorded in the international system. So if the worst comes to worst, when a court of law is hearing cases like this, they might go into the carrier and filter that information and give it to the whole world, the information I had with the man. So he told me that even the landlord lives there, that he was going to talk to the landlord. Because I wanted to go and... He told me you can go and knock and meet the landlord. But like he had second thoughts and said, okay, don't worry. You go to shoot too and knock. But I will meet with the landlord later. I will not be around till the next week. I said, okay, no problem. So the next time we met, we met face to face. And I pointed to him that this is where we have acquired what they said, the impression given in the internet, that they said, this is where the flag will be. He laughed. And I told him that this is where the coat of arms will be from what we're giving. He said, I should send him that picture that Simon Epa sent. Let him see it and go and meet the man he should do and ask him if he's aware of this. Or if it's part of this. And then he told me that unless the man in Sutu has subletted the house to whosoever I am talking about. But as far as he's concerned, no organization has rented any of the suits in the house which he controls. That's what he said. Emma, when you're talking about something, he has told you. Because they're in their country and, you know, anything can happen to him. Now, I finished discussing with him, went again to that place, knocked, nobody was there. That, the other time I went to Surinadi, there was dog food in front of the house, which was recently put there. Possibly he ordered it online. And evidence to back the man's claim that that man lives there in suit too. Probably the man owns a dog too. And when they came and did not see him, there had been an earlier caller before I came. The dog food was left there with a note from whoever the caller is, the delivery man, to him. Do you understand? So, we are trying to correct certain things. That in the first instance, the impression he gave to you was that the building was acquired by the Biafans, which was not true. And number two, they acquired Shutu, and I went to Shutu, which also was not true. They never acquired any Shutu from the man in question. If we go to the court of law, I am going to stand against the man if he says we did not discuss it because the records will come from where it was written um, the conversation we had every conversation we have in America they say this, me this um, uh, message is recorded for quality purpose so it will come out and the court will hear it and you cannot erase it, this is America you know, you don't do this hanky-panky they do in Nigeria so if I'm telling lies, he himself will tell me that thing will say it and the court will find me guilty so he said that they never acquired she too itself. Then he said to me later on, after some days, that unless the man in question went and subletted she too to the people I'm talking about that claim they have rented the whole building or they have acquired the whole building. That's what he told me. And then he said, please, give me the internet copy as it was sent to you guys Send it to my mail. He gave me his card. and told me this is my mail. I saw him what I shook hands with him physically. He's a white man. His name is Chris. And he said, send it to my mail. And let me see what was posted in internet concerning this building that I'm not aware of. And that when he saw uh, the, the flag on top, he said, this is my first time 
I never even knew that this flag was there. This is my first time of saying it. I said, ah, that is a flag with the American flag. <laughs> the man laughed. That was what happened. Do you understand? So, the impression given was this. We have acquired the building, which was false. Number two, we have acquired Shu 2, which also was false. Because the man said that there's an occupant in Shu 2 already, and it's not even a black man. And the occupant did not acquire that Shu 2 in the name of Biafra. That he doesn't know any organization like that. So the occupant occupied it by himself. And then he said, unless the occupant sublated it to the people I'm talking about. Now, when he said that thing, when he said that thing, I said, fine. Now, when Prince came, Prince saw these lies as a desecration of the Biafran flag. Because the flag showcases us as a people what we believe in, what we profess, our dignity and integrity. That is what it shows. That is what it shows. So when you use the flag to tell the whole international community we have acquired a house which we did not acquire, you have a suit which you did not get yourself. Somebody already lives there by the owner or, or whatever leader of that company, owner of that company, who testified to me personally. You cannot believe me. Then something is wrong with you because I am telling you the truth and the man is alive in America here. I cannot escape from America today if I'm lying. Whatever I go, they find me and arrest me very fast. Very, very fast. So I'm talking. The man's name is Chris. His, uh, his uh, complimentary card is in my car because I didn't come out with my wallet here. I would have opened and showed it to you. No, now, Prince saw those lies that Simon was trying to launder his image and impress their friends by saying, we have gotten this. And now the man said, unless he, your, your prime minister and his organization, went and got that thing as being sublated to them by the man that occupies that suit originally. Then, number three, I saw a video where they are putting properties into the suit. That is very good. Now the question arises, the landlord or the owner of that company told me that there was somebody living there and the person, from what I understood, has a dog. And when they were entering into that place, there was no presence of the person and the dog was not there. So a lot of things are going on underground because I'm not saying it based on imagination. The man personally told me that somebody already owns that place, has rented it, and is living there. Go there and knock. So, and then later he said, unless they had to go and get it as a sublet to them. And he said, please, give me that photo shot on the internet about this building. Let me go and meet that man in suit two and discuss with him. And I did. I sent it to him. That's the truth. So, when Prince saw it, he felt that the Biafran flag is being desecrated a second time. This time not physically, but by word of lies that will ridicule the Biafran people in the presence of the international community. And so all Prince had to do was what a very noble person would have done. He uprooted the flag and said, this is wrong. He did not desecrate the flag. He didn't tear it. He wouldn't do that. He put it in his vehicle and said, you that put the flag, why don't you show your face? And then let me come to some corrections too. So in actual fact, please did Biafra a favor by standing for the integrity and the dignity of a nation by removing the flag of the nation from lies and deceit and false propaganda. That they put cheers into the uh, suit, no doubt, the video showed it. But who owns the suit? The landlord said, the, the owner of that company said, the suit is owned by somebody who had rented it earlier. It was not Biafra that rented the suit. So get the facts straight. Those of you that are talking, you don't want to listen, you don't want to reason. You're just angry in your heart. And if you are going to build Biafra on lies, it will not work. Onyendu said it. It is not possible. 
You must build their ground too. You cannot start a new nation. You want to build on lies. When you have such a very bad foundation, how are you going to survive as a nation? Nigeria will be better than us. That's the, that's the truth. Because Nigeria cannot tolerate that. Now, Prince did a very noble thing by removing that flag. He didn't destroy it. He's still in his car. When things are corrected very well, he will bring the flag and put. Okay, so get it now that the lies there is one. We don't own the building. As the Afrans, we have the right to say because I contributed money in the Afrans. I stopped after we started having this problem. But I've been contributing my money. Prince has been contributing his money. All of you have been contributing financially. Mm -hmm. So, one, we don't own the building. Number two, we did not hire Sutu itself as the Afrans. Somebody hired it. That's a second lie. Do you understand? Number three, when you said you wrote to the United Nations and get them 7200 Belay Road to 2 and you are not there, if they write you now as the Prime Minister, how will you get it? Because the headquarters, the Prime Minister should be where the headquarters is. That is where you stay to head the government. Now, when Simon Epa began to make certain comments on Facebook, um, Twitter, he said, the criminal who went and steal, oh, for heaven's sake. When we were together, I called Simon one day, I said, each time you want to go on air to post anything, don't post it yet. Bring it to us. Let us edit it. Because of the arrangement of grammar, you are representing, you are the voice of the people. We are spokesperson for the friends. Don't just post it. He said, okay, we'll do it. I said, we've seen a lot of uh, mistakes in the things that you post. And when they read the English that you write, you know, it doesn't sound very well. He agreed. He agreed. He said, I said, yeah, we are very, very available. That we have to let you, you have myself. You have, um, who else was there that was uh, very good? We have Prince there that was there. Who else? We have Adasayon that was there. These are people who are well versed in the English language and they can look at you, um, your grammar arrangement and correct it and still pass the same information. Even presidents in countries do it. Sometimes they read from the teleprompter. So when I told him he agreed and on two occasions he sent those letters to us to edit and then send so that all those grammatical high jump will stop. So he said the criminal that went and steal, no, the appropriate word for him to have used is that went and stole. So, then number two, again, he said, United States, for heaven's sake, even the pronouncement gave the impression that the spelling is S-T-E-T, -E United States. It is state. Look, it, 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 vowels added to words change the phonation. My name is Living Stone. There is a vowel E after the consonant N. When applied, it changes the phonation from Living Stone that ends with N. The E makes it Living Stone. These are grammatical errors that should be avoided where somebody that is leading people is because it creates the impression in the international community that you are not versed in the language. Somebody will say, ah, but English is not his mother tongue, but he speaks Finnish language very well. So, he should sit down and do some, you know, diction upgrade to help him out. But when he said, United States, no, it's United States. Even if you don't put America, just say United States, not United, United States. So, these are the problems. To show you his level of understanding, to quickly rush and do things, because if he had kept quiet and said, okay, um, this house, we did not acquire it, but we have a suit there openly and had told the Afrans that even this suit, we got it through one or two persons. It would have been clear to the Afrans, but he gave them the impression that they have acquired the building. And those are the lies that made Prince that's his lies that made people say, no, we cannot continue with this kind of misbehavior. I'm going to uproot it. And, and he didn't hide it. He didn't steal. Because if he had stolen, in the context of what we are discussing, he here means taking it away secretly. But Prince said, put me life 
on Facebook. And he told them, I'm going to take this thing. Look at my face. So he didn't steal it. But he passed across that information to you people so that he will aggravate your anger. And then your reasoning faculty, the Bible, I'm sorry, I said the Bible. <laughs> I thought I'm in the church preaching. Somebody said, Dead men that have fled to brutish beasts and men have lost their reason. Men have lost their reason. They don't want to reason again. They tell you we have acquired the building. They tell you should do, and we understood that should do has already been acquired by somebody. Now, when I made that presentation, it was your place to ask him who really acquired should do. Is it the government or you got it through somebody who was there already? For this is what Livingstone said. Why don't you take Livingstone up on that? Because he's lying. Then I will produce the owner of the company who will come to talk. But you never did. You are only there offended. Do you understand me? Okay, so that is what really happened. So what Prince did was to remove shame and ridicule from the face of Biafrans because of the lie being presented. The truth should be told. Even in the situ being occupied now, the impression still being given to you people. I'm not saying he said so. I'm saying the impression still be given to people right now is that she too has been acquired by the Biafran government in Israel. No. There is an original occupant of she too, according to the landlord or the owner of that company. So, and the man said, unless the man subletted that office to your organization, your organization has no business with me in respect to renting any suits there or should do for now that's what he said so you should be able to process information in your mind if you have your brains intact yeah, if you have your brains intact be a little bit reasonable be a little bit um, commonsensical in the way you do your things even the should do is not owned by the Biafran Republic government in exile because the man who let who let out the suit to the occupant they said that that suit is occupied by a single individual he's not a black man and he lives there so you know you people have just brushed aside that one all you are interested you have seen here there's one stupid young lady she's pretty but very stupid because she doesn't i hope she's listening to me she's a promise uh or is it progress whatever one stupid young lady that was talking trash she, the first time she met sometimes she said she listened to the question the journalist was asking Simon Epa, who funds you and your organization he said no she never heard you she only heard your organization I only heard it only once just once I heard it and it was enough once and I got the information she said she heard it she, she repeated it in over and over and never heard you that is to show you the level of damage the Nigerian educational system has done to people like that even though she lives overseas from what I understand, she, she, she refused to listen very well. And that's the problem you have. You don't listen very well. You don't listen very well. If you listen very well, you process information very well. She says she listened over and over. And how can that kind of person pass an exam? She, she, she listened over and over and over again. She never heard where the journalist asked him, who is funding you? and the organization. I heard it only once. And others who are reasonable listened and heard the journalist ask Simon Epa, who funds you and your organization? So that girl also now came out and said, she, she's so dumb. If you look at her face, she may be beautiful, but she's dumb. She's a blogger, but she's dumb. And if you are only concerned with hearing sensational information, you don't process them in your mind. You can be led astray. And that is the reason why you cannot get up. A whole man of your type cannot sit down and ask somebody, please tell me, how are we going this in? How are we going this in? You carry all your hopes and put in him that he will give you Biafra. Yes. And if he walks and gives it to you, he becomes your Lord. You cannot challenge him. Where were you when he was fighting? What makes you a man? How do you take care of responsibility of your home? When you go to school, does somebody write your exams for you? Is it not why time you start processing information in your mind? Why do this kind of stupidity? So at this point, I can bring in Prince if he has anything to say. I just wanted to clear this thing. 
that prince did not desecrate the Biafran flag, no. He, out of his desire, noble mind, to salvage the honor of the flag and the dignity of the Biafran people, pulled out the flag from lies that were being presented to the whole world. And the funny thing is that Simon knows that you will not think in that direction. He knows that you are so dumb that you will, you will always think, hey, he has given us the tears. Oh, he has done this. But let me tell you the truth. I don't have any intention. He said he's going to show us to God. I wish you'd do it. I wish I'd pray to God in heaven. He should show us to God in America. I tell you the truth. They will extradite him from there to come here and go to jail. I'm telling you the truth. Now, what is your This point which I've raised up before you now, based on, unless, even if he goes out to take that thing out of the internet, in Twitter, which is not possible, it is there already. He said, the flag shall be here, the coat of arms shall be there, this one. How can you put that kind of thing and give their fans such a false impression? And when you give them that impression, they bring money. And that was what angered Prince into saying, this is wrong. So, he brought down that flag because this guy was using it at a Ponzi scheme to collect money from their friends, give them the impression we are on so they can give money. So, he, he didn't bring back, bring down the flag to dishonor their friends. The person who dishonored their friends is the one that tore the flag first, someone did, and who uses the flag as a bait to collect money from people. Uh, as a bait to collect money from people. For. And he saw the the integrity and the dignity of the flag and Biafran people being ridiculed in the international community who have their thinking caps on. Because when they look into his comments, they will say, ah, but he said they acquired the building. They will laugh, these guys. Then they go and look, they say Sutu. He says in Sutu. And when they went there, they realized that somebody owned that place and is claiming it. It's ridiculous. So, Prince is working for the struggle to succeed. It is only in truth that the struggle must succeed. It cannot succeed in lies. It cannot succeed in lies. It will only succeed in truth. Those of you who are supporting lies and hope you get Biafra, you are the real enemies of Biafra. You are the enemies of Biafra. And the real one at that. Because if you cannot speak the truth, but you want something, how can can you come, you tell a girl you want to marry her, that you are a very rich man, you have companies, you travel overseas, and you are a big guy, just you want to take her to bed or marry her. Why not tell her the truth whom you are? If she likes you, she should like you. If she doesn't like you, she should go. Very simple. Make your mind plain to somebody. Let the person see you and know you are telling the truth. So, Simon feeds you with lies. Yes, actually they have put tears there, but it is still not their father that owns you too. Because... If they claim tomorrow is them that own she too, then I might be compelled to seek legal redress in the court of law against this that owns that company. And Americans will go into their system to retrieve the information on what I discussed with him online and it will come up plain. So who is the person that will go to jail? It is him, not me. Because that was the information he gave. That he told me, go and knock. That the person who lives there is there. The person who owns the suit lives there. So, in actual fact, we didn't acquire even the suit, not to talk of the building. So, the impression is that they're giving you is things are working. Oh, this man is moving, he's moving. But the truth is not being told you. Be realistic. Be realistic. Look at, tell people the simple truth. Don't try to impress them. And then, by the way, in, in, here's the Prime Minister. And the picture, you see there, you don't see Namdekano. I hope you should put Namdekano there too. That is because he's, he being the prime minister is the head of government. We are following the British system of administration. That's what he followed. So the prime minister is the head of government. It's not Namdekar. Effectively, Namdekar has been set aside. And tomorrow, I heard him post online that Namdekar is very pleased. This report reaching him that Namdekar is very pleased with what that. <laughs> Who said so? Eh? We have the proper information. So please, if you are available, you can come in or at this point, I may have to sign off because I have to go out for my business today. Thank you very much, dear friends. God bless you. I just wanted to set the record straight. Uh, 
that this one, yeah, please say we don't respond to adults who reason like little children. Nigerians are so called their fans who can't reason properly like Nigerians. Yes. So, yeah, there's no need responding to them. It, you know, it is only the truth that makes a man free. I stand in the truth. That is why I'm not afraid. As you see me, all the wishes that I will die in one week or one day or ten days or at the, the only time I will miss it is when I begin to offend God and deviate from the faith and start worshipping the devil. Now, your boss, Simon Epper, said, okay, Prince wants to join me. Your boss, Simon Epper, said, he vowed that he would even go into covenant with the devil, even if it means going to covenant with the devil to get Biafra. So, effectively, of confidence in God. That is why that will fail. With his mouth, or let me talk him. It was him that, with his mouth, said, he was not going to covenant with the devil to get Biafra. So he will no longer put his trust in God. It's not me that said it. You will not listen to what he's speaking against God. You will not listen to that. The God who met you. What? Please, you're welcome. God bless you. I'm able to thank you, Pastor Livingston, for a well deposited uh, uh, statement. And thank you, fellow BR friends. Um, it is always a pleasure to um, address issues relating to Biafra and the struggle. Um, uh, um, well, I just wanted to insist that um, our response here isn't for adults who reason like children, like little children, or for um, Nigerians, and those so-called uh, Biafrans who cannot reason probably like Nigerians. We only respond to genuine peer friends. Please go ahead. Yes. Let me, let me dress up. Go ahead. I'm about to go to work. Go ahead. Just anything to you. Thing up. I'm just going to um, uh, ensure that uh, genuine peer friends uh, listen and understand. So the, the, the truth here is uh, that um, sadly, these Nigerians haven't asked themselves for the efforts a house photoshopped house and used photoshopped Biafra flag to cover the advertising board claiming that this is a house acquired on behalf of Biafra. Only when he was challenged, he now rushed to claim that no, it is now uh, uh, suit two. And then, then whoever is the criminal agent working with him in a country that is free it's not as if it is uh, a, a, what they call third world country whoever this criminal is will always mask himself hiding from the people okay working in cahoot with the criminal gang and defrauding their friends and criminalizing genuine people and also are the people who are responsible for the massive killing with no regard whatsoever about the millions of Biafrans whose blood had been shed with no regards whatsoever about the sufferings of Mazi Nandekano who remains in the DSS dungeon to date I mean, it is mind-boggling that people can ridicule a whole nation, such as Biafra, in this way. Now, they have not asked themselves, why is it that the, somebody is masking themselves to go and put on Biafran flag? Okay? They walk in, and why are they now physically putting on Biafran flag when there was already a Photoshop? showing a massive Biafran flag covering uh, an advertising board. Why then are they going now physically to put a physical 
they are frank, frank, without showing their face, always hiding from the camera. Look, America, as far well as I know, is a free country. Why would anybody be hiding and say they are representing Biafra? Now, let me make it clear that um, the hide and seek on behalf of Biafra has stopped because we are not going to, Jadim Biafrans will not admit it. Let me, let me make sure I buttress that point very, very well. When you claim to have purchased a property on behalf of Biafrans, or that you are renting a property on behalf of Biafrans, you must show, and you are claiming that you are a government in exile, you must show that you, ha you are registered in the country you are domiciled, as exiled in. You must show proof that you are registered. You must show Biafrans that you are legally registered. Because you cannot just become whatever you claim without adequate registration. You have to also show proof that you have acquired the building on behalf of their friends. Or that you have a tenancy agreement showing that you have actually signed a documentation that gives you legal authority to occupy that particular unit you claim to be <laughs> occupying. <laughs> they are dumb. They are dumb yeah. people. No, they yeah, are because because people. Because this, is, this is public fund. It's not they your are personal they money. Are now, if you have lunatics who cannot reason and who cannot ask simple basic questions, I can assure you there are genuine dear friends who can no longer tolerate this shame. And this ridicule. Their friends are being ridiculed. And um, I can tell you, now, uh, look, I don't even want to address the idiot called Simon Eba, okay, and his stupid, uh, childish uh, 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 posturing. Uh, there is no point in doing so. All I say to him is um, whenever he's ready for both of us to go to Biafra land, he must show me proof that he is ready and I'll meet him wherever he wants in Biafra land. So we can see. So we can get him to that level where he belongs. Okay? So, um, and um, there, there is just no point in addressing those, uh, those, uh, those idiotic and uh, animal infested <laughs> brain people talking garbage. <laughs> because we don't think reason there is no point addressing no them. point no point they don't think the 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 truth will always speak for itself and that they they, they, they think i just wanted to make sure that every average true biafran understands is that it is impossible for a nigerian state that does not want to to hear about they are holding him and keeping him illegally but the same nigerian state are now praising a prime minister on behalf of that same name it's, 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 that, it's unimaginable that tells you that tells you that the nigerian state are now working in cahoots with this criminal because exactly. they know that that this biafran project this is the man that can destroy it and this is the man that otherwise, why are they referring, why are some quarters, even their newspapers, referring to Simon Eber as a prime minister of a Biafra that they don't want to hear about? Of the <laughs> is he illegally detained? It just does not make sense, even to be stupid. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't sense make sense. Let alone whoever says they are intelligent. So, uh, Pastor, I thank you for your time in coming to clarify matters. Um, thank you. I want to say to these idiots, show us your tenancy agreement so we can prove that you are subletting from the original tenant. And we can, all, all, we can also show you that there is nothing not different in this whole project.
Nothing. If there was, you will not be going to do a Photoshop house, Photoshop flag, covering, in fact, the whole act of covering the advertising board alone tells you that these are criminals in operation. <laughs> of masking the advertising board with a photoshopped flag tells you that this Simon is the height of humanity in this entire Biafran restoration program. But I honestly Simon and his lunatic Nobody Mountains Onion was talking about, but they will see how Thank you so thank you so much thank you so much prince prince, prince for your information this is the card of the man of three alliance have you seen it hello prince this is the card so i, I don't talk no sense can you hear me Hello, Hello, please. Why I can't hear you. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now, please? Hello? Hello, please. Can you hear me now? Something is not quite right. You no, see, please. This is this is the card of the alliance. I don't tell you lies. You are going in here. You can carry your phone. All the money in this card. You can look at the number. Do very well. People can call him. Name is Chris. I don't think it. I don't think the man personally. Yes. Uh, the man of Chris Peterson. This is the card. So, I cannot be believe I'm be lying, lying against somebody, anything I tell you is the truth. That's it. But if I lie, God will bless me. If I'm saying the truth, God will bless me. He will increase me. He will make me very great in this land. God bless you. This is it. I think it's your place. You can see it. That's it. Yes. That's the card. The man gave it to me. So, I spoke with him. I made him one of mine. He gave me the card. Thank you very much, Belfast. We are speaking the truth for you. I can. Decide to forget about this thing. Things can store I live in America with my family. I don't care. I mean, 
Yes, please, Emmanuel. Pack it on Twitter. You sure I'm not lying? So I can decide to stay in America with my family and don't care about Biafra. If you're receiving insults from you, I say, well, what do I have to do with these guys? Forget about them. Lose my, lose my Facebook account and just because I know that you will fail because the man who's living in you is lying and the God of heaven who we spoke against. So I say to me, he says, he says, God knows that the ways of the wicked is vain. It will end up in vanity. I don't try to start the situation so that you don't fall to it. That's not all the prophets of old were the people. So what Prince did was to salvage the integrity of the flag and the dignity of the Biafran people. He removed the flag. This guy was doing a wrong thing. He did not take it. He did not respect it. He associated the Biafran flag for a Ponzi scheme. And even C2 is not being hired by the Biafran public government in Israel. This man said, This man, what is his name? Listen, there's nobody that C2 already in the list there. So we must have submitted it to them. Let your brain work for once. Because it is only me as a person who just drop this thing and let it go after I enjoy myself here with my family. Because God will not allow his servant to stay and see something wrong, he doesn't tell them. If he doesn't go, we'll be responsible. He told us, he can bring you and watch you and nobody make you. If you see the truth coming to kill the people and you resist to tell them, when they die, they will die in their sins, but their blood shall be on your head. So I told you, my hands are free from your blood. But if I decide any moment from now, Forget about this. I'm giving you enough information for you to think with your brains. It's less important. This is a matter that we are no longer going to come to my So let me just my business. Okay, dear friends, God bless you. <laughs>